Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the interesting plant, Spanish moss. During a recent trip to St. Simon's Island, I was fascinated by the amazing trees on the island. Many of these trees have Spanish moss hanging from their branches. For many years, I had assumed that the Spanish moss must be a parasitic relationship between the tree and the moss. However, after some research, I learned this is not true. I also learned that Spanish moss is neither from Spain nor is it moss. First, Spanish moss is an epiphyte. Epiphytes are very interesting. These plants receive their nutrition from the moisture and dust in the air, or from the water if they are marine epiphytes. As a result, you'll find many epiphytes in very humid areas like St. Simon's Island. The term epiphyte comes from the Greek term epi, meaning a pine, and phyton, meaning plant. The Spanish moss does not get nutrients from the tree it's found on, but relies on the dust and moisture in the air. For the most part, the tree is not harmed and the Spanish moss and tree enjoy a commensalistic symbiotic relationship. However, sometimes the Spanish moss covers up much of the tree and the leaves, and the leaves cannot receive proper sunlight. Spanish moss is part of the bromelade family, which is the same family as pineapples. Spanish moss sprout from a seed. The seeds are similar to dandelion seeds and float through the air until they land on a suitable spot to grow. Spanish moss is native to Mexico and South America, but not Spain. French explorers called it tree hair and thought it reminded them of the long beards of the Spaniards, so they called it Spanish beard, and it stuck. It does look a little like the trees are growing a beard. If you'd like to know more about epiphytes, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.